Hi, hello, namaste everyone. Welcome to PW Telugu 9th and 10th. This is Srikanth Sir, your chemistry mentor. Here we are discussing about the classification of elements, right? So this is 10th class topic and uh, classification of elements that is periodic table. So here we have discussed various topics in the previous session as well. Okay, so we have completed almost four sessions. Okay, we have learnt uh, almost uh, entire chapter except to these topics in the four sessions. So this is the last session. and this is the last concept of this periodic table okay so you have to start your preparation and not only listening to the class you have to maintain your class notes as well class notes is very important okay running notes is very important at the time of examination as well so what you have to do better you have to maintain a class notes okay chalo so without wasting time we'll start the session so here what we have discussed in the previous session so we are completed with the what beta modern periodic table so modern periodic table tarata em discuss chesamo we have come up with the trends in the modern periodic table so what are the trends what are the variation in the periodic properties and we chusanamo so in that first one we have discussed about valency so what is meant by valency okay the combining capacity of an atom the combining capacity of an atom is known as what beta valency so there uh, we have seen the valence electrons as well okay the electrons which are present in the outermost shell is known as what beta valence electrons so valency in the periods first increases then decreases so up to 14th group so of uh, that like uh, roman letter fourth group valence increases from fifth group valence is decreases in the periods okay and there is no change in valence in the groups as well that we have discussed in the previous session so what is valency combining capacity combining capacity of an element okay so atomic radius atomic radius also we have discussed so what is atomic radius beta the distance between distance between okay nucleus and the last shell that is outermost shell i am writing last shell okay it is outermost shell so here uh, the distance between nucleus and outermost shell so for example so this is a nucleus and there are two shells are there so the distance between nucleus and outermost shell is nothing but what beta atomic radius okay radius of an atom okay atomic size then kuda cheptam not only atomic radius so we can uh, consider this as a atomic size so atomic size and kuda antam right okay that is atomic radius so mar periods lo ela untundi group lo ela untundi from left to right atomic radius decreases in periods okay in periods from left to right atomic radius is decreases and from top to bottom atomic radius is increases so periods lo em aitundi beta so periods will be having same number of shells so same number of shells and increasing the number of electrons increasing the number of electrons leads to the decrease in the atomic size okay right so in groups the number of shells increases as the number of shells increases what will happen beta atomic radius is also increases that is atomic radius and electron affinity electron affinity so here electron affinity the amount of energy released when an electron is added to the neutral gaseous atom so ikkada em aitundi beta manaki amount of energy released okay endanta manam outermost shell lo unnatundi okay outermost shell lo unnatundi uh, like daniki so shell ki electron add cheyadam valla electron add cheyadam valla em aitundante some amount of energy is released some amount of energy is released so that is said to be what beta electron affinity so electron affinity in from in periods from left to right electron affinity increases and in groups from left to right electron affinity is decreases sir why in periods electron affinity is increases sir because atomic size is decreases as the atomic size is decreasing what will happen beta here uh, there uh, the distance between nucleus and the outermost shell electron so attraction between nucleus and outermost shell electron increases so and here due to less in size what will happen beta electron affinity is increases right and next electro negativity electro negativity tendency to gain electrons so tendency to gain electrons is nothing but electro negativity in periods electro negativity is what will happen beta electro negativity increases in periods electro negativity increases from left to right so why electro negativity increases beta as the number of valence electrons increases okay the valence electrons are seven 
సో ఇట్ నీడ్స్ ఓన్లీ వన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ టు కంప్లీట్ ఇట్ ఆక్సైడ్ ఆక్టేట్ సో ఆక్టేట్ గురించి మనం కెమికల్ బాండింగ్ లో చదువుదాం సో అక్కడ ఏమైతుంది స్టేబుల్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ జీరో గ్రూప్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ కి రావాలంటే ఏమైతుంది so which is which has to get only one electron so one electron kavalante electron gain cheyal electron gain cheyalante em aitund akkada manaki electron negativity chupisa undi whereas in the first group sodium undi sodium lo 11 electrons unnai so daniki stable configuration kavalante em aitund manaki right aitund it has to lose one electron so it will lose one electron and it gains okay it gains electro positivity character electro positivity character so by that we can say electro negativity electro negativity if in periods uh, from left to right increases and electro negativity from top to bottom decreases here metallic character increases okay so chalo now in this today's session what we are going to discuss so in today's session we are going to discuss about uh, ionization energy and metallic and non metallic character so ionization energy is very important chapter beta ionization energy is very important so you may get one question in your board examination as well so very 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 important this topic is very very important ionization energy is very very important chalo so and the next metallic and non metallic character so you will get one long question ionization energy you will get one long question not only in this uh, class 10 okay this is important to the intermediate first year as well and this is important to the neat examination je as well okay so here we are going to discuss about ionization energy so what is ionization energy what is ionization energy simple ionization so ions kind of convert cheyadam ionization kada right so mari ionization energy ante enti sir ionization energy ante enti sir mari ionization ante enti electron add cheyadam gaani electron ni remove cheyadam gaani cheyadam valle emaitundi manaki ions anedi form aitha undi so dani ionization antam kada so mari ikkada electron add cheyala electron remove cheyala sir mari ionization lo ante so here the amount of energy so you can identify the amount of energy the amount of energy required required to remove an electron electron from outermost shell outermost shell of neutral gaseous atom neutral gaseous atom neutral gaseous atom so the amount of energy required to remove an electron from neutral gaseous atom is known as what beta ionization energy is known as is known as ionization ionization energy ionization energy so din ionization energy antaru potential ఎనర్జీ అంటారు ఓకే లైక్ అనేషన్ ఎనర్జీ ఆర్ అనేషన్ ఎన్తాల్ఫీ అని చెప్పి కూడా చెప్పడం జరుగుతూ ఉంది సో ఇక్కడ ఏమైతుంది బట్ ఆ స్టూడెంట్ ఈ సో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ విల్ బీ టేకింగ్ సోడియం ఎలిమెంట్ ఓకే సో సోడియం ఎలిమెంట్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ కాన్ఫిగరేషన్ బట్ బెటర్ టూ ఎయిట్ వన్ సో హియర్ హౌ మెనీ షెల్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ వీ హ్యావ్ త్రీ షెల్స్ రైట్ సో త్రీ షెల్స్ ఓకే దెర్ ఆర్ త్రీ షెల్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ సో హియర్ విల్ బీ హ్యావింగ్ వన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఇన్ ద అవుటర్ మోస్ట్ షెల్ విల్ బీ హ్యావింగ్ వన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఇన్ ద outer most shell so we have to remove this one electron so the amount of energy required to remove this electron from the outer most this electron from the sodium atom so that is outer most shell okay from the sodium atom so that energy is what beta ionization energy so for example neutral gaseous atom like m uh, is a neutral gaseous atom so what is here ionization energy so what it will form beta it will form m plus okay and uh, one electron is lost m plus and uh, one electron is lost that is said to be ionization energy that is said to be ionization energy so here the amount of energy the amount of energy required to remove an electron required to remove an electron from outermost shell of neutral gaseous atom is known as what beta ionization 
energy ionization energy right so now here another important definition here so same first ionization energy and ionization energy are uh, definitions are same beta okay so here uh, what we, this is first ionization energy so what we have to write here the amount of energy the amount of energy required required to remove remove so here first electron beta first electron from outermost shell outermost shell of neutral gaseous atom neutral gaseous atom is known as first ionization energy so simple definition na no? okay enti betekara the amount of energy required to remove an electron okay remove first electron from the outermost shell of neutral gaseous atom is known as what beta first ionization energy this is first ionization energy remember so here what we can write so here we can write the equation in this way so this is a neutral gaseous atom okay so it is not not neutral so now this is a neutral gaseous atom so here the first ionization energy first ionization energy can be written as ie1 so here uh, this is written as ie beta this is written as ie okay and this one is written as ie1 first ionization energy can be written as ie1 okay amount of energy required to remove an electron from neutral gaseous atom first electron from neutral gaseous atom okay is known as first ionization energy so here what is happen beta it will form an unipositive ion unipositive ion and one electron is lost so this is say what beta first ionization energy this is unipositive ion unipositive ion din em antam unipositive ion ani cheppadam jarugutha undi so this is a first ionization energy ante oka atom lonchi oka atom lonchi okay Uh, like uh, amount of energy required to remove an electron from uh, first uh, first electron from outermost shell of neutral gaseous atom okay so ka atom lo unchi da dan yokka last shell lo unna 20 last shell lo unna 20 electron ni deesayadaniki gavalsina 20 energy ne so to remove an electron okay energy required to remove an electron from outermost shell of neutral gaseous atom is known as what beta ionization energy okay so the next coming to the second ionization energy second ionization energy what is meant by second ionization energy so okay one electron already removed right so that is first ionization energy and here so where it is formed unipositive ion okay uni positive ion is formed in the first ionization energy so first ionization energy lo manake emindi unipositive ion edi like form avadam jarigindi kada so unipositive ion nunchi inkoka electron ni deesayadaniki kavalsina kavalsina 20 energy ni em antam manamu second ionization en antaru okay the amount of energy required to remove an electron from unipositive ion okay is known as what beta second ionization energy enta dekara the amount of energy required to remove an electron from the unipositive ion enti beta unipositive ion is known as what second ionization energy so we we'll let the same definition we we'll let the same definition here the amount of energy the amount of energy required to remove an electron from uni positive ion uni positive ion is known as is known as second ionization is known as what beta second ionization energy second ionization is known as second ionization energy right so kada enti manaki unipositive ion endi beta idi kada m plus is a unipositive ion okay 
So here, second ionization energy is IE2. So what it will form? It will form di-positive ion right now. Unipositive by the di-positive Ochindi. So one more electron is removed. One more electron is removed from the isolated uh, neutral gaseous atom. Okay. So that is said to be what better? Second ionization energy. That is said to be second ionization energy. Okay. Let's move on to the factors affecting on factors affecting on what? Ionization energy. So first ionization, ionization energy and the amount of energy required to remove an electron from the Neutral gaseous atom is known as what beta ionization energy. In that first ionization energy is what? Okay, the amount of energy required to remove an electron. Okay, which electron beta? First electron from the neutral gaseous atom is known as what? First ionization energy. And the amount of energy required to remove an electron. Okay, remove an electron from the unipositive ion. From the unipositive ion is known as what beta? Second ionization energy is known as second ionization energy. Now, so we are going to discuss about factors affecting on our what ionization energy ionization energy of an element depends on its okay nuclear charge screening effect penetration power okay stable configuration and uh, atomic radius so we'll see one after one so nuclear charge so the first one is what beta nuclear charge So nuclear charge. So what is nuclear charge here? So nuclear charge and anti SLU is beta. <coughs> yes. So nuclear charge. So what is nuclear charge beta? Uh, for example, uh, here we can see. So this is a nucleus. Okay. So nucleus limit man ki protons on together. So this is an outer uh, shell. This is uh, like uh, shells, KLM shells. Okay, so here what 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 we will be having? We'll be having protons, right? So we'll be having protons in it. We'll be having protons. So protons is nothing but the positive charge. Okay, the charge present, the charge present in the nucleus of protons is known as what beta? Nucleus charge. So Gramethan Manaki, charge present in the charge present in the nucleus. The charge present in the nucleus for all protons. For all protons is known as what beta? Nuclear charge. So here we can write the charge present, the charge present in the nucleus for all protons is what beta for all protons is what nuclear charge. Okay. <laughs> Right? So, the charge present in the nucleus low. So, for example, more is the nuclear charge. More is the nuclear charge. What will happen better here? So, protons 10 to 9. Right? Electrons 8 to 9. And electrons 10 to 9. So, more number of the more number of the protons and equal number of the electrons. And here, more number of the protons and equal number of less number of the electrons. So, what will happen better here? So, I'll tell you. So, more the nuclear charge. more the nuclear charge more is the ionization energy ionization energy more the nuclear charge and more is the ionization energy more the nuclear charge and more is the ionization energy and jp Okay, so Maridi Ella sir, Ella Japalutam sir. How can we say sir? So here uh, we'll take an example. Example this kunam makati. Antibetakara. Example uh, like sodium this kunam and chlorine this kunam. So sodium 11, chlorine energy 17. When you see the electronic configuration 28, uh, when you see the electronic configuration 287. Okay, beta. So, today we have 10 number of protons, 11 number of protons, and 11 number of electrons. Here, 11 number of protons, and sorry, 17 number of protons, and 17 number of electrons. So, what will happen better here? 
सो दिस्ज इन दउटर मोशन अवटर मोशन मन की एक्वाटामिक रेडियस वाला न्यूक्स की प्रोटा की अंड एलक्ट्रा की मध्य अट्राशन तक उवन एलक्ट्रा उ इन द अवटर मोशन सो एम दगर उ प्रोटा प्रोटा दगर हॉल्को उड़ा एक्वेनर्जी सो इकम बेटा मन की एलक्ट्रा ट्रई जो क्लोरीन रईट सो इकमें एलक्ट्रा तीस ट्रई जो सोडियम सो वट विल बेटा हियर हियर लेस इज द्यूक्लियर चार्ज लेस विल बी द ionization energy that means we can remove an electron from the sodium is very easily compared uh, comparatively chlorine okay so what we can write here nuclear charge nuclear charge okay is directly proportional to the ionization energy ionization energy is directly proportional to the nuclear charge and the second one second one is what beta screening effect screening effect so that is also said to be shielding effects screening effect or shielding effect so for example you see beta so if this is the nucleus okay and these are what these are the shells these are the shells so for example okay so what is happening beta here so here for example will be having 10 protons 10 protons only anukundam 10 protons only so first shell only two electrons are possible second shell how many beta eight electrons are possible na Right. So here you can see. So these protons can uh, hold uh, first shell of electrons, and the protons can hold the second shell of electrons as well. So, but in the last shell, in the last shell, we'll be having few electrons. For example, so the before shell of last shell is said to be what? Beta penultimate shell. Penultimate shell. Penultimate. let me write penultimate shell so the last shell before shell is what beta penultimate shell so here the protons the protons uh, hold electrons okay right what will happen beta so if we need to remove an electron from the outermost shell so we can remove easily why because why because so these shells these shell electrons are act like a screens between the nucleus and outermost shell so is screen laga act chestundante so what will happen beta the protons the protons attraction will become less on the outermost shell okay protons attraction will become less on the outermost shell so outermost shell pane em aitundi manaki takku undadam valle em aitundi manaki okay we can remove electrons easily okay we can remove electrons easily more the shells more the shells more will be the more will be the screening effect screening effect okay more the shells more will be the screening effect so more if the more is the screening effect what will happen beta so screening effect or shielding effect so then em antam manamu screening effect or shielding effect an kuda cheppadam jarutundi so ikkada rasano shielding effect more the cells more is the screening effect or shielding shielding effect if more is the shielding effect less is the ionization energy so here we can write ionization energy is inversely proportional to the screening effect screening effect ionization energy is inversely proportional to the screening effect so ionization energy enti beta inversely proportional ga unta the screening effect ki right so in the next one next next enti manaki third one third one enti beta penetration power of the orbitals so penetration power ओके पेनेट्रेशन पावर सो मामूल पेनेट्रेशन पवर इज नथिंग बट ओवरलैपिंग ऑफ आर्बिटल ओवरलैपिंग ऑफ आर्बिटल सो जनरली व्हाट विल हैपन बेटा एस आर्बिटल हैविंग मोर ओवरलैपिंग ओके एस आर एस आर्बिटल सो फर एग्जांपल एस आर्बिटल एस आर्बिटल ओवरलैपिंग उूक्स इकूक्स की मध्य अट्राशन सारी इकड़ न्यूक्स की एलक्ट्रा की मध्य अट्राशन सो पेनेट्रेशन पवर अनेंटी सो हिर् so same uh, atomic orbital same orbitals will be having different penetrating 
power. Same orbitals will be having different penetrating power. So, in this particular, the orbitals belong to the same main shell have different penetrating powers. Okay. So, orbitals belong to the orbitals belong to the same shell orbitals belong to the same shell with different penetrating power shell uh, with different different penetrating power penetrating power towards the nucleus towards the nucleus so p orbital penetrating power ta kuntadi S orbital like kunta the D orbital linka the kunta the F orbital linka the kunta the so for example of a series is kuna manmo 4s 4p 4d and 4f series is kuna mo so what is the penetrating power sir so penetrating power of 4s is more comparatively 4p and 4d and 4f so chuchuk boye samadhyam chuchuk boye samadhyam and tam penetrating power and a so more the overlapping more the overlapping so that is penetrating power is more okay so the next fourth one is stable configuration stable configuration so stable configuration is nothing but how do the atoms are atoms will become stable beta by the loss of electrons sir by the gain of electrons so they will become stabilized so i stable avadan can you try just say and you try just say kada sorry stable avadan can you try just say are the stable under on key other so stable under on again and a Ella stable the by the loss of electrons or by the gain of electrons. So stable electronic configuration then go. So stable electron configuration it cannot participate in any reaction. So if it is having stable configuration, it cannot participate in any reaction. If it is not participating in any reaction, what will happen beta? It will become stable. So and the ionization energy will become more. So more ionization energy is required here. So stable configuration on day reaction of participate and key. Try J do okay. Stable configuration day reaction of participate J and key. Try J do so reaction of participate and try J at least on a day. Aim there to the gana aim there to the gana ionization energy and the echo of some other end of the day stable in the condi stable in the condi met on the so electrons tightly hold by the nucleus stable configuration day electrons tightly hold by the nucleus so 8 10 electrons in a 10 protons in a 28 is a electronic configuration 8 electrons in the outermost shell is known as stable configuration if it is having stable configuration what will happen beta it cannot lose electrons easily so stable configuration can you put stable configuration is Directly proportional to the ionization energy. Stable configuration is directly proportional to the ionization energy. If it is a stable configuration, ionization energy is also more. So, for example, half filled configuration, half filled, half filled configuration, configuration is also stable. Is also stable. Half filled configuration is also stable. So, for example. Any better nitrogen this kunam sodium option little nitrogen this kunam nitrogen seven gather uh he could emra to one s two two s two two p three so two p three and emit nigga two p three low so three three electrons on the one one electron on the so the half filled on the oxygen this kunam oxygen eight gather so you can get to one s two two s two two p four so it is stable gather you can aim in the four electrons on the so here we can remove electron from this atom easily okay we can remove electron from this atom easily so you can aim it in the stable configuration stable configuration leads to the more ionization energy okay more ionization energy is required for the stable configuration okay nitrogen has more ionization energy nitrogen has more ionization energy and last but not least one is what beta atomic radius atomic radius so atomic radius and the color is also the distance between the nucleus and outer motion the distance between the nucleus and outer motion is what beta this is atomic radius okay so here atomic radius increases 
atomic radius is directly proportional to the ionization energy if atomic radius increases atomic radius increases what will happen beta what will happen ionization energy is also increases or decreases sorry it is not directly proportional it is inversely proportional it is not directly proportional it is inversely proportional because atomic radius increases ionization energy is decreases as atomic radius decreases and ionization energy is what beta increases why ionization energy increases beta if more is the atomic radius more is the atomic radius there is attraction between the nucleus and outermost shell is decreases so nucleus and outermost shell is decreases in the sense uh, the electrons in the outermost shell there is less attraction by the protons or nucleus and it cannot at uh, it cannot show much effect on the last shell so last shell pan effect we can remove easily from the electrons okay so this is atomic radius so variation of ionization energy variation of ionization energy so periods lo judam so periods lo ela untun beta so from left to right from left to right ionization energy increases ionization energy emaitundi increase aitundi enduku ionization energy increase aitundi as the atomic radius decreases atomic radius decrease aitundi atomic radius decrease ayindante the automatically emaitund beta manaki ionization energy ekku vaalu endukante nucleus nucleus and electrons tightly hold cheskoni untadu kabatti manaki ekku ionization energy avasaram vastadi in groups iskunnataithe in groups iskunnataithe manaki em aitundi ikkada from top to bottom from top to bottom ionization energy decreases from top to bottom ionization energy decreases so ionization energy enduku decrease aitundi ikkada because atomic radius increases as the atomic radius increases what will happen beta what will happen so the distance between nucleus and outermost shell is decreases so distance between nucleus and outermost shell is uh, increases increase aindante nucleus outermost shell pan increase aindante attraction between at, uh, nucleus and outer, outermost shell electron is decreases if it is decreases we can remove electron easily from the outermost shell this is ionization energy so now next topic is metallic and uh, non metallic character so metallic and non metallic character so here generally metals metals have tendency to lose tendency to lose electrons metals have tendency to lose electrons and non metals non metals have tendency to gain electrons tendency to gain electrons okay so ime tundi metals lose electrons and kabatti it will form positive ions it will form positive ions and here it will form negative ions so ikkada em aitundi beta metals have tendency to lose electrons and non metals have tendency to gain electrons and by the loss of electrons it will form positive ions and by the gain of electrons it will form negative ions so here electronegative non metals are electronegative in nature and metals are electro positive in nature so non metals are electronegative in nature and metals are electro positive in nature so positive ion sorry if positive if negative ions kabatti electro negative in nature electro negative in nature okay these are electro positive in nature electro positive in nature electro positive in nature so period lo chuddam beta period lo chuddam so periods lo for example sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus okay then there are them also maki chlorine kada silicon phosphorus and uh, chlorine right chlorine ena then there are them also sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus so it 15 16 17 okay ikkada chudam beta maki sodium and magnesium chusnadaithe maki em aitundi sodium magnesium are what beta metals okay aluminium silicon is what beta metalloids and phosphorus sulfur chlorine are non metals non metals so that means from left to right from left to right what is happening here metallic character decreases metallic character 
decreases and non metallic character increases non metallic character increases so previously me the metallic character anedi decrease aitundi non metallic character anedi increase avadam jarutundi okay and next so groups lo chudam for example groups lo chudam so groups lo chusnatayite fourth group tisukoni beta fourth group em aitundi carbon so carbon tarata em ostundi manaki cheppandi carbon ki name untundi yes beta comment carbon ki em untundi silicon untadi germanium untadi tin lead so this is the fourth group so ikkada em aitundi beta this is a non metal this is a non metal this one is a non metal this one is a non metal and these two are what beta metalloids and these are metals these are metals ka but em aitundi ikkada ikkada em aitundi metals ka but metallic character from top to bottom top to bottom metallic character metallic character increases increases the non metallic character non metallic character non metallic character decreases so this is the thing we have to remember this is about metallic and non metallic character right so the next one is what beta define ionization energy what is ionization energy here so the amount of energy the amount of energy energy required required to remove an electron an electron from outermost shell outermost shell of neutral gaseous atom neutral gaseous atom neutral gaseous atom is known as what beta ionization energy ikkada chudochu m neutral gaseous atom so this is ionization energy and it will form m plus and one electron is lost so this is ionization energy we have discussed about this ionization energy and next so the family of elements with highest ionization energy highest ionization energy deniki untadi so which are stable which is having highest ionization energy so highest ionization energy deniki untadi beta noble gases will be having highest ionization energy and the next so the increasing order of different ionization energy so dintlo increasing order of different ionization energy and je padigindo deniki ekku ionization energy untadi adigindo so this is your homework question and comment in a chat box comment in a chat box okay so here uh, we have discussed about what beta ionization energy ionization energy and next metallic and non metallic character metallic and uh, non metallic character non metallic character right so mari ionization energy ante enti ionization energy ante enti so ikkada ionization energy chusinatayite so first thing uh, energy required to remove so for example this is metal or uh, an atom so which is uh, neutral which is neutral so neutral gaseous atom so amount of energy required to remove an electron so this is first ionization energy ani kuda cheppukodam jarigindi right so one electron is lost so dan tarata em aitundi uni positive ion nunchi manam inko sari ionization energy dishnam ankondi okay this is second ionization energy avuta undi okay so din em antaramu m plus 2 and uh, one electron is lost so this is second ionization energy anjepi cheppadam jarutha undi so factors affecting on uh, ionization energy nuclear charge okay uh, next uh, screening effect or shielding effect penetration power stable configuration and uh, atomic radius so metallic character and non metallic character so metals have tendency to lose electrons and non metals have tendency to gain electrons then metals are electro positive in nature and non metals are 
electronegative in nature so in various from left to right metal non metallic character increases and metallic character decreases and in from group in groups from top to bottom metallic character increases and non metallic character decreases so this is what better uh, summary of the lecture and next uh, this is about uh, today's session hope you understand today's session and by this we have completed classification of elements and the periodic table so i'll come up with another interesting topic in the next session till the time bye everyone see you again bye bye